All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to talk to you about a couple new features that were just added to Discord to make managing your Discord communities a little bit easier. So if you go to your Discord server settings, the one that you have as a community, you will notice that there are two new options at the bottom of your server like drop down menu here one is security actions and the other one is a button to report a raid the first button is your security action so what does that do so when i click on this this is a new beta feature and what this allows me to do is i can pause invites so people can't join the server and i can pause direct messages if people's only cross communication method with each other is the fact that they're in this server together. Like if they're not on each other's friends list or anything, they only share my server. I can actually disable their ability to send messages back and forth temporarily because one of the most popular ways that people spam either like nasty things, hateful things or scammy, spammy virus laden things is via direct messages after they have joined a server that they are attempting to scam or attempting to raid. And I can then set yes or no to either of these options. And then I can even do it for one hour or up to 24 hours at a time. Now, let's say I wanna do this for an hour right now. I'll just hit save and then that will put the server into lockdown mode and then a little banner has appeared at the top of my screen. Now, if you've done this in accidentally, you can always disable this right now and then like, you know, click save and that will remove the warning banner at the top of the screen and then asks me why I was doing a, a lockdown on the server. And you can select people were spamming each other with direct messages. There was a spam of someone mentioning everybody and I had to lock that down and then ban them. Somebody was doing channel spam, no harm done, but suspicious new members, changing the server and other channel settings or other. Uh, I'm gonna say other, um, I'm creating a tutorial on how this new feature works to inform users who are not familiar. So Discord, as you can see, they're trying to crack down on people raiding servers, people harassing each other because it has become an increasing problem over the years as more and more people use the platform and more and more people use and create different third-party tools to try to get around different security measures. So Discord's stepping up their game. So the other thing you've got is the ability to report a raid on your server. So you can say there's a people raiding the server and then you can say, oh, they were spamming the channels or whatever, and you can submit that information. And then Discord will look at it and say like, oh, these are a bunch of accounts lately that have been used in a bunch of raids. We'll just ban the lot of them and not worry about it. So you can fill this out and submit a detailed explanation of what goes on. And then presumably Discord will look at it and take action against people who have been raiding a bunch of servers and being a problem. Uh, across a large swath of the community. So that's the new server actions that you can take for security actions and reporting a raid. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.